Today, we will talk about the annualized rate of return. An annualized rate of return is the equivalent annual return an investor receives over a given period. Returns for periods less than one year are not annualized to prevent projected performance in the remainder of the year from occurring. Annualized returns are scaled down to a 12-month period, allowing investors to objectively compare the returns of any assets over any period. Calculating the annualized performance of an investment or index using yearly data involves the principal investment, gains or losses, the number of years, and the annualized performance rate. The generalized formula takes compound interest into account over time. For example, if an investor invested $50,000 into a mutual fund and, four years later, the investment is worth $75,000, the annualized performance can be calculated using the formula. It's important not to confuse annualized performance with annual performance as the former takes compound interest into account. Industry standards for most investments dictate the most precise form of annualized return calculation, which uses days instead of years. The formula is the same, except for the exponent. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The annualized rate of return reflects investment returns on an annual basis. 2. The rate of return looks at gains or losses on investments over varying periods of time, while the annualized rate looks at the average returns on a yearly basis. 3. The annualized rate of return is expressed as a percentage and is consistent over the years that the investment has provided returns. 4. It differs from the annual performance of an investment, which can vary considerably from year to year. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.